So we come into the world expecting, we have a biological expectation that we will be met by another person who has a regulated nervous system. Because co-regulation, we don't survive without that co-regulation, right? And, and actually, that need for co-regulation lasts until the day we die. But as we come into the world, it is truly a life or death situation. So for the little ones who end up premature and in the incubator, you know, not connected to their caregiver, that is a, um, a biological um, affront to their system, right? They need that connection. And so instead of mother holding, they're, they're in a, a incubator with tubes and wires and noises and all of this stuff mm. assaulting their system. And so that gets, it's a, you know, their neuroception is one of danger, right? right. So when neuroception begins to create those pathways, those patterns, then, and that's one of the reasons why skin-to-skin -skin contact, kangaroo care, has become so popular. Even, you know, so as soon as a tiny preemie is, is able to be outside the incubator, skin-to-skin -skin contact, because they're trying to create that, that sense of, of safety and co-regulation. And then does that stay in their body in, until they're older? Well, it's a neural pathway that gets created, right? The nervous system is missing what it needs, and so it has to compensate in some other way. So we build pathways of connection and pathways of protection. And so if we grew up in a, in a home where the world was, was dangerous, it doesn't really matter in what way it was dangerous. So what we say in this kind of work is it doesn't matter so much what happened to you, it matters how your nervous system responded to what happened to you. Mm. So for some people growing up in a dangerous home, they become very sympathetically charged. They might get very big and acting out. Yeah. Or they might have that huge anxiety where they need to manage everything to make sure it stays okay. So that's sympathetic. Or they might go to the dorsal place where they try to become invisible, fly mm. under the radar, not be seen, not be heard. Those are the creative ways the nervous system is helping them survive. And we carry those patterns into our adulthood, even after we are no longer in those experiences, right? And that's why we need to then go back and look at those and, and rewire and restory, because otherwise we're simply acting out of those familiar cues that our nervous system took in and learned how to respond to creatively to keep us alive.